Question 10. A salmon fishing boat on a BC river traveled 72 kilometers upstream in 4 hours. Returning at the same speed, it took 3 hours. Find the speed of the fishing boat in still water. Find the speed of the river's current. Okay. So you'll encounter many of these problems where it's sometimes a boat, sometimes an airplane, and you know, you have to see the speed of the two things, right? Now, I will suggest you make a table and then solve this kind of problem. Here is how I would like to do it for you. Let's think that this is upstream and this is downstream. And in both cases, distance traveled is 72 kilometers, right? Correct. And time taken is, time taken is 4 hours upstream and 3 hours downstream. Correct. And we need to find their speed. So let's assume the speed of boat is B and the speed of water is W. So when you are going upstream, then the speed of water is against, right? So the speed will be B minus W, right? But when you go downstream, then the water will add to the speed and therefore it will be B plus W. Is it okay? So that is how our speed is going to be related. Now, you also remember the distance speed relationship triangle, right? That is like this. Now here, distance is speed times time, right? So from this, we can actually get two sets of equation, right? So distance 72, so we say 72 is equal to speed time times. So we can write 4 times B minus W, right? And similarly, we can write the second equation. The second degree 72 is equals to 3 times b plus w, right? So that is how we get our equations. Now, we have simultaneous equations, two equations, and two variables. These can be solved to find the value of both the variables, correct? We can divide the first equation, b minus w is equal to what? So first equation, we say, we'll divide this one by 4 and 72 divided by 4, right? And this one by 3. So we get B plus W from this second equation, right? Let me write equation numbers. So let us say this is our equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now, from 1, we get 72 divided by 4. So that is 18. So from here we get 18 equals to B minus W. So what did we do? We divided equation 1 divided by 4. Correct? And then we'll do equation 2 divided by 3. So it is 72 divided by 3 equals to 24. So we get 24 equals to B plus W. Correct? Let's name this equation as 3 and 4. Right. Now, we can eliminate, right? If we add 3 and 4, then what do we get? If we add equation 3 and 4, then we get 4 plus 8, 12 and 1. 42 equals to 2 times b, right? 
So from here, B is equals to 42 divided by 2, which is 21. So we get B as 21, right? Now, to get W, actually, we could even subtract the equations, but we can substitute 21 in the first equation. So let's say this equation is 5 for us, right? Now, we'll use this B in first equation. That is, we'll do 5 equation number. We'll put 5 in equation 3, right? So that means I'll plug in B as 21 in equation 3. So I get 18 equals to 21 minus W. Or from here, W equals to 21 minus 18, which is equal to 3. Right? Therefore, our answer is So find the speed of fishing boat in still water. So boat speed is 21 kilometer per hour and this reverse current is Three kilometers per hour. Okay, that's how the problem will be solved. Go through it carefully, right? Try to understand each step. So, first part is figuring it out. Table of values is a nice way of doing it, right? And then using distance equals to speed into time, we got two different equations. There were two variables which we solved by elimination, right? And then write your answer clearly, okay? I hope you learned from that. Thank you.